Yo, I'm Master Fisher, and today we are going to compare the F1 Yas Marina circuit in Abu Dhabi between the official Formula 1 22 game and a mod in R Factor 2 from Sim Racing Game. Which game has the better Abu Dhabi track? Let's find out now. On the inside of the first corner, there's an orange sausage curb. This is missing in R Factor 2. However, in both games, the guardrail is too far away from the curb. In real life, it is closer to the track. Continuing up the hill to turn 2 and 3, there is a bollard on the inside of turn 3. This is on the right edge of the curb as in F1 2022. In R-Factor 2 though, this is on the curb and so slightly misplaced. As we continue down the hill, the bollard in R-Factor 2 at the inside of turn 4 is again too close to the track. In F1 22, it is on the left edge of the curb just like in real life. Now we come to turn number 5 and for me it looks a little bit better in R-Factor 2 than in F122 although the version in F122 also looks very realistic. The exit curb of turn 5 is too narrow in both games. I don't know how this happened but in real life the whole car could be placed on the curb but in R-Factor 2 and F122 the car is wider than the actual exit curb. At the straight down to the chicane I would like to mention the terrible fog in F122 which can be seen at night. In general the graphics in F122 are better than in R-Factor 2, yes, but the night and the sky look so much better and more realistic in RF2 than in F122. What do you think about that? Write it down in the comments down below. In real life and in F122, the entry curb of turn 6 starts exactly at the 150 meter brake sign. At the mod in RF2, the curb starts too late. As we now come to the actual chicane of turn 6 and 7 and the radius of turn 6 looks slightly better in F122 than in R-Factor 2 compared to reality. Turn 7 though looks very realistic in both games and the exit from the chicane as well. Although the left white stripe on the curb is missing in both versions. Let's continue on the straight now to turn 5 and if you like the video please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. The newly redesigned turn 9 looks very good in both games and the bollards are also placed correctly. The exit curb of turn 9 might be a bit too wide in both versions of the game. As in real life it looks a little bit narrower. Now we come to the technically most demanding part of the track with many off camber turns that are difficult to drive. Turn 12 with bollards and small soft curbs is very good in both games but the inner curb in F122 stops a bit too early. Turn 13 with the off camber, curb and bollards is very well implemented in both games. The shape of turn 13 is also perfect in both games but in both versions the bollard of the turn is placed too early into the corner. In real life it is exactly at the apex of turn 14 in F122 and RF2 as you can see it's placed way before that. The wall at the exit of turn 13 is correct in both games but the painted part is too far away from the crash barrier in both games. The also new design penultimate corner which has to be driven through at full throttle looks good and the exit curb on the left hand side which leads to the final corner of the circuit has also the correct position and width. The bollard at the inside of the final corner is wrongly placed in both games. In reality it is just at the edge of the curb, but in both games it is still on the curb. The exit curb of the final corner though has the right width in both games, but the last part on the left side is painted wrong in R Factor 2. It should be all white. So yeah, that's it for the track comparison and for me this time F122 has won because it has less mistakes and so a more accurate version of the track. We have to mention in RF2 it's only a mod and not officially created by Studio 397 so there are some mistakes but basically the mod is very good and quite accurate. Which version do you think is better and would you like to see future videos with my commentary again or just with text? Feel free to give me a feedback in the comments down below, like the video, leave a subscription if you haven't already and then I will see you soon. Bye bye.